Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Dave TV for the 9th of March, 2013. <laughs> How y'all doing, everybody? Big shout out to Nick and Dan. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm walking through the uh, parking lot the other day and uh, big black limo, big black my big gat black gangster car comes shooting by. And somebody opens the window and goes, Hey, Dave! And I'm like, oh, no. Oh, it's Nick. My good friend Nick, who I see all the time. Um, and his good friend Dan. So I just wanted to shout out to Nick and Dan, who are regular viewers of Dave TV! <laughs> Nick tells me that his dad was a was a big journalist dude in D.C. back in the day and um, was a good friend of Carol Joint, who, uh, as we all know, does the Q&A Cafe and um, writer for Washingtonian. So I'll have to uh, check into that. <laughs> um, anyhow, anyhow, so here we are at Dave TV. What's going on today? Today we're going to do the um, Saturday. It's Saturday, ever loving Saturday. We're going to do the um, look at the uh, hideous local Washington media bloggers and what they're up to. <laughs> Eric Temple. Eric Temple. Wem Eric Wem The Temple of Eric Wemple. The Washington Post. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, any, any really uh, interesting stuff here? Um, uh, Juan Williams plagiarism case. Oh, well, of course, you know, Eric Wemple, you know, he got you, wa he watches Fox News, so we all don't have to. <sighs> Tucker Carlson, how hard is journalism? Tucker Carlson, <laughs> yeah, it's one of those people, Tucker Carlson makes me want to take a shower. <laughs> Every time I hear Tucker Carlson, see Tucker Carlson, I immediately feel dirty. I want to jump in a shower. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. <laughs> Man. Uh, it just, I don't know. What am I going to say? So I'm looking through here. Okay, yeah. Uh, Eric, Eric Temple Wemple gets 192 comments for his uh, piece on Tucker Carlson uh, later the, earlier this week, whatever. So, you know, it was an okay week. Yeah, most of this stuff, though, 4, 10, 12 comments, 2 comments. Oh, here's another one. Eric Temple Wemple. Fox News' Bill O'Reilly connects Hispanics with bigger government. 278 comments! Ooh! So, Eric Temple Wemple, continue reporting on Fox News. That's your only salvation. If you want, you know, there's people at the Washington Post to bless you because you're getting some hits on your little bloggy schmoggy there. Otherwise, you know, 10 comments, 11 comments, 9 comments. Oh, we got 104 comments for a Limbaugh one. What's it? What do you write about Limbaugh? Kane sticks up for Limbaugh. 104 comments. Uh, the, Rush Limbaugh these days, I don't know, man. The guy sounds, just sounds more and more out of touch. He sounds like a big... <sighs> I don't know. He sounds like a giant muffin, doesn't he? Kind of groggly mouth. This is Rush Limbaugh. He sounds like this giant muffin. It's just kind of spewing stuff that nobody cares about. <laughs> uh, oh, 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 oh! Betsy Rothstein. Not a not a particularly good week for the the crazy the crazy nut jobs at Fishbowl DC. Um, it's funny because Tucker. Barnes over there at Channel 5 will put up a video because Capital Weather Gang completely blew the forecast this week and all the other media people, all the other weather media people. And it gets up there. It's on Channel 5 site. It's on a whole bunch of blogs. We do it. And then Fishbowl DC gets it like a day later and they run it like, look what we just found out. I mean, why does Media Ochre Bistro continue to employ Betsy Rossi? I don't get it. You know, this whole um, $2 million libel slander suit from Wendy Gordon, the publicist, you know, resurfaced again this week because some big web media brands, they own Media Ochre Bistro, which owns Fishbowl DC. Some media web media brands lawyers said, hey, we were just making jokes. 
you know, all this sexual slander about Wendy Gordon week after week after week after week after week after week after week. We were just making a joke. It's just, you know, she's a public figure. It's a joke. Um, it may be, and the court may rule that way, but, you know, media bistro is becoming a joke. I mean, this is hurting media bistro more than anything else because a lot of people are kind of snickering and they're going, what the hell's media bistro up to? It's either really dull blogs or crazy lunacy like Betsy Rothstein. That's media bistro for you. <laughs> it's like, you know, they're kind of wondering, is this company quite all there <laughs> with all these? Uh, it's either super duper insider stuff that nobody really gives a hoot about or it's just crazy spinning stuff, you know, and, and even Fishbowl DC, nobody's visiting it unless you get a Joe Curl link to Drudge. And then you just get, you know, that's the best or only salvation. The only salvation for Betsy Rossi and Fishbowl DC is Joe Curl. Ah! Why? 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 <laughs> Why haven't they gotten rid of Betsy Rossi long ago? Um, Z on TV. Of course, what a dumb name for a column. Z on TV. <laughs> David Zurich, star of the Baltimore Sun. Uh, ooh, big thing on the History Channel. One comment. Uh, 16 comments on another one from the History Channel. Uh, HBO, I mean, he must get, Dave Zurich must get free HBO. He must, because he loves everything on HBO. You know, <laughs> he must get free Netflix, because he loves House of Cards when everybody else did. But anyhow, um, HBO scores with Pacino as Phil Spector in Barry Levinson production. Two comments. <sighs> They said, there's that Baltimore said, NBC looking to replace Leno with Jimmy Fallon in late night. Hate comments. <laughs> okay, the one thing, though, it's like, it's like Eric, Eric Temple Wemple can guarantee he'll get some comments when he talks about, writes about Fox. Same thing with David Zerwick and Chelsea Clinton. He just keeps re-coming up the Chelsea Clinton on NBC's Rock Center, brings that up every couple weeks, and he'll get eh, 50, 60, 70 comments on it. So, you know, he owes uh, Chelsea, Clinton, Chelsea Clinton a um, note of thanks because <laughs> he, wants a, he wants at least a few hits on that Baltimore Sun website. He can bring up Chelsea Clinton. <laughs> uh, and what's our friend Jim Romanesco up to this week, huh? If you can't, if you can't do journalism, blog about it. Uh, um, uh, nothing earth-shattering. Nah, don't even worry about it. Oh, what the heck? Oh. Uh, what's all this Windows 8 crap, man? You know, you look at the Best Buy circular in the paper today, and it's all these computers, you know, a whole bunch of different brands of computers and different types of computers, but they all have this giant Ensel-like lemon on them called Windows 8. What's up with that? <laughs> it's like the whole world, this monolithic. And, and why does Microsoft try to s shove down a, a you think they'd want to, you think they'd want to offer an operating system that people would want. But no, it's like, it's like take your... You know, take your cod liver oil. This is good for you. Even though you hate it, we're going to shove it down your throat. You know, and uh, I don't get that kind of marketing, man. You know, if you're going to do Windows 8, fine. Why don't they have a bunch, bunch of different versions of Windows 8? The Windows 8 for professionals who want to, you know, want a nice desktop and want to continue all their Windows 7 things they like. Why don't they have a version of it for them and another version of it for tablets and another version of it for laptops or whatever and another version of it for gamers? Why don't they come out with different versions of it at least? You know, why do they have to force everybody into that, you know, thing where they get rid uh, I don't know man I don't I don't understand marketing you think these companies Microsoft Comcast these companies are all just out there in their own universe they don't seem to realize that uh, you know it's serving the public is what they're in in for and then that blah, 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 blah. me TV me TV is coming to channel 7 on Monday the 11th of March Doug Hill, well, it used to be called Doug Hill's Weather Now, but now it's just called Weather Now, is going away. And MeTV, which will be piped in via satellite, will be showing up on March the 11th, Monday. And it's going to be, you know, it's a cool channel. It's got, like, Mary Tyler Moore Show and a um, whole bunch of old shows like, you know, Perry Mason and stuff like that. And it's a good lineup. But, you know, we also get Antenna TV, which has a lot of old shows. And we also get... Um, 
cozy TV there on NBC4, which has a lot of old shows. Um, I am kind of sorry to see the loss of weather now. Um, it's a good channel. You know, when, when there's bad weather around, I turn to that a lot. That and Channel 9's weather radar, Doppler 9000, Topper Doppler 9000. Um, but anyhow, uh, you know, I, I really wish that uh, Channel 7 could somehow continue the 24-7 weather channel because I think it does provide a public service. But what the hell? What does that matter in this day and age, right? We just want something that we can cannibalize. You know, as somebody told me, one of the things All Britain likes to do, which owns Channel 7, is uh, preempt any ABC programming with old crappy movies and stuff like that so that they can sell local spots on it and make more money. And they... And they anticipate that, uh, you know, that uh, this new um, MeTV will probably be used for that same purpose. You know, it's like up in Baltimore, they run MeTV on Channel 11's 11.2 channel. And then they put like a 10 o'clock news on there. Yeah, so you, it's a, your local station. It's like what Cozy, what NBC4 does with Cozy. You're able to preempt stuff and put local elements into the programming mix, which I assume will happen also on MeTV from WJLA. But anyhow, onward and upward, <laughs> Onward and upward! All right, folks, that's Dave TV for this Saturday, the 9th of March, 2013. Um, nice weather today. You know, no more hype from the Capitol weather guy. Wow. <laughs> the sun! The sun is going to come crashing down to Earth! Headline on the Capitol weather guy. Hype. <laughs> I'll tell you, you know, the, a lot of these, you know, and you know it. You know the Washington Post. These bloggers on the Washington Post, including Captain Weather Gang and Eric Temple Wemple and all that, they are pressured into getting hits. And, you know, you know that. You know that. And they must feel awful when they type, 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 and they get six or seven people visiting and that's it. So, you know, they need hits. They need hype. They need sensationalization. 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 Um... Oh, yeah, DCRDV, we're launching a new thing called uh, DCRDV Capitol Hill, which will cover Capitol Hill media news duh, without the slander, libel, and all the smarmy crap that you find on that other site. So, uh, enjoy. Just click on the link at the top of DCRTV. Have a great weekend. i got a friend coming over. He's going to drag me to Oz tomorrow. Oh, okay. Two plus hours of this. <sighs> I need the strength. <laughs> Adios, amigo.